Data storage. Data storage. Data is stored in a computer system to be accessed by the processor. It is a process that allows the computer system to retain information temporarily or permanently. This data is usually in the form of optical or electromagnetic form. Types of data storages. There are two types of data storages, i.e., primary and secondary. The primary storage retains data in RAM, random access memory, ROM, read only memory, or L1 and L2 cache. The secondary storage stores data in hard disks, RAID, redundant array of independent disk systems, zip drivers, etc. Primary storage is faster to access, whereas secondary storage can store more data. Primary storage is also known as main storage, whereas secondary storage is also known as auxiliary storage. File compression. It is a process that allows you to package a single file or multiple files to use less disk space. There are two types of file compression. 1. Lossy file compression. 2. Lossless file compression. Lossless file compression. This file compression allows the original file to be reconstructed when uncompressed. It is best for file formats where data loss can damage the information e.g. account statements, attendance spreadsheets, etc. Lossy file compression. In contrary to lossless, lossy compression removes the unnecessary data to compress the files. The original file cannot be reconstructed. It is used where the quality degradation cannot harm the information e.g. MP3 and JPEG. File formats. In computer systems, there are various types of file formats. Following are the ones we will discuss in detail. MP3 MP4 MIDI JPEG Text and Numbers MP MP3 MP3 is a technology that compresses music files. It is also known as audio compression. It compresses a typical music file by 90%. E.g. a 100 MB music file can be converted into an MP3 file format with a size of 10 MB. These types of files can be used in cell phones, computers or MP3 players. The music files are compressed using a technology known as perceptual music shaping. This technology removes the sounds that the human ear cannot hear meaning that compression is done by removing some part of the music without affecting the overall quality of music. It uses a lossy format for compression. MP4 The MP4 format contrary to the MP3 format allows the storage of not only music but also the storage of videos, animation, photos, etc. Using this format, videos can be streamed over the internet without compromising the quality. JPEG JPEG stands for Joint Photograph Experts Group. JPEG is an image file format that changes the image resolution i.e. pixels per centimeter to store the image file. When the image file is compressed its size is reduced and quality takes the toll for it. Since JPEG reduces the file size by losing the quality it is also an example of the lossy format of compression. The original quality cannot be reconstructed once the file is compressed. MIDI Musical Instrument Digital Interface it is a standard that allows sound to be represented in binary format. It stores the sound description, not the sound itself. It stores a series of control messages containing sound events e.g. pitch, volume, and duration. When these control messages are received by the MIDI-compatible device the messages are interpreted and reproduced. The MIDI data can also be compressed however it does not need any special compression algorithm. Text and Numbers Text and numbers can be stored in various formats. Typically, the text is stored in ASCII. However, numbers can be stored in different number formats. E.g. real numbers, date, time, integers, currency, currency, etc. The files containing numbers undergo a lossless format of compression since this type of data cannot be compromised. The text format can also be compressed and uses a complex algorithm that uses redundancy. The compression of text is also lossless. Error checking methods. Introduction. 
When you transmit data, there is always a risk for data corruption i.e. cause due to fault in communication equipment, noise, etc. In compressed data, the risk of loss of information increases since redundancy has already reduced to a minimum to reduce the file size. Therefore, error control measures are taken to make sure the data that is transferred through communication channels is error-free. These error control measures usually contain error detection and correction. Error detection detects the errors in the data or message while error correction is the process of reconstruction of the original data. Error detection and correction methods. 1. Parity. 2. Check sum. 3. Check digit. 4. Automatic repeat request, ARQ. 1. Parity. In this error detection method, a parity bit is added to the original message. Systems that use even parity counts the occurrences of ones, adds a zero parity bit if the count is already even and adds a one parity bit to make the occurrence of ones even if it is not even already. In an odd parity system, the number of ones occurrences needs to odd including the parity bit. Example 1. Consider the byte 11011100. If this byte is using an even parity system, then the parity bit needs to be zero since the number of occurrences of ones is already even. However, if it is using an odd parity system, then the parity bit needs to be one to make the number of occurrences of ones odd. Example 2. Now consider the following example bytes and identify the parity system used each one of them. In this byte, the parity system used is odd since the number of occur occurrences of ones is odd. In this byte, the parity system used is even. Example 3. Consider an example, in which even parity, vertical parity check, system is used to transmit 9 bytes of data. The following table shows the data at the receiving end. If this table is studied properly then it can be seen that. Row 8 has incorrect parity i.e. the number of occurrences of ones is not even so the parity should have been 1. Column 5 also has an odd number of occurrences of ones and the parity bit is wrong. This information reveals that error has occurred at the intersection of column 5 and row 8. And byte 8 should have been this. Shortcoming of parity. If more than one bit of a byte was replaced during transmission, then it would have been impossible to detect the error. Suppose using even parity system, the following byte has been sent. This byte could have received like this. Or like this. In both situations, it would not have triggered the error since the number of occurrences of ones has remained even. 2. Check sum. It is an error detection method that sends an additional value with the original data. This additional value is known as the checksum. It is a fixed length modular arithmetic sum of the message. E.g. a byte. This sum can be negated by a one's complement operation before sending the data stream or message to detect errors in the message. To understand how it works, assume the checksum is one byte in length i.e. the max value can be 28 minus 1 is equal to 255. Less than or equal to 255. If the sum of all the bytes transferred is less than or equal to 255 then checksum will be this value 28 minus 1 is equal to 255. Greater than 255. If the sum of all the bytes transferred is greater than 255 then checksum will be calculated using the following method. Example 1. Suppose the sum of the bytes is 1185. Since it is greater than 255 therefore, we will use the second method. First, 1185 will be divided by 256 i.e. 1185 divided by 256 is equal to 4.496. Round this value to the nearest whole number i.e. 4.496 rounds off to 4. Multiply the rounded value to 256 i.e. 4 times 256 is equal to 1024. Calculate the difference i.e. 1185 to 1024 equals 127 checksum. Note. When data is to be transmitted, its checksum is calculated and attached to the original message before the transmission. At the receiving end, the checksum of the received block is again calculated and compared with the transmitted checksum. 
If both checksums are the same, then the data is error-free. 3. Check digit. It is an error detection system in which an additional number is added to the series, e.g. account null, etc., to check the accuracy. This number is usually derived from the original series of numbers. For example, consider a number 232, the sum of these three digits, 2 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 7, can be added as the last digit to the original series i.e. 2327. Example 1. Consider an ISBN 10 number 0 to 201 to 53082X that is typically used on books that use the module 11 system, X inclusive. To calculate the value of X, first, we need to find out the placement of each digit. Multiply each digit with its position. 0x10 plus 2 by 9 plus 0x8 plus 1 by 7 plus 5 by 6 plus 3 by 5 plus 0x4 plus 8 by 3 plus 2 by 2 equals 0 plus 18 plus 0 plus 7 plus 30 plus 15 plus 0 plus 24 plus 4 is equal to 98. Divide the total with 11. 98 divided by 11 is equal to 8 remainder 11. Check the difference, i.e. subtract x placement from the remainder. 11 to 10 equals 1. This value is your check digit and the final ISBN becomes 4. Automatic repeat request, ARQ. This error detection method uses acknowledgement and timeout. An acknowledgement is a message specifying correct data has been received and i.e. sent by the receiver. A timeout is a deadline or defined time, or time elapsed before the receiving of the acknowledgement. If the acknowledgement is not sent by the receiver before timeout then the message will be sent again automatically.